light measurement. I'll show you in a second. So first thing I have to do is calibrate the device. So this is a white patch, which is standard, and this machine knows how white this should be. So when you click on it, it's going to calibrate. Okay, so now it says attach the ambient light head, which they sneak in behind it under this device. Which is, this is a stand for actually profiling the projector. If you really need a little color, you can actually profile this projector to match. But usually a waste of time. Okay, so attach the gizmo. What it, what it is, it's a, it's a diffusing panel for the device. I'm going to measure the light in this room. What do you mean diffusing? Well, it's a white disc, right? So there's a photo sensor in here. Mm -hmm. right? so usually a two degree angle, but for incident light, you want a diffusion. Mm -hmm. Kind of like the old white panel you put in front of the light meter. <coughs> so if I hit start, I measure. That's the spectrum of this light. From just less than visible light, 380 nanometers, right through to uh, uh, red, IR light. Daylight, by the way, if you measure daylight, it'd be basically a straight line across here. So this tells me that this light in this room has a really high green peak, really high red peak. This is a very spiky light source. Which is why when you greens in your inkjet prints, well, your prints look uh, uh, magenta under this light because this colorant is so green. Am I saying it right? No, they will look green under this light because all this extra green is being, the magenta isn't absorbing it all and you have a color shift. So, this tool with x you can actually run a printer profile based on the aluminum of your gallery illumination, and it will put the magenta bias into the profile, so when you run your print, it'll look neutral under the slice. 